Good afternoon, everybody. It's January 8th, 2016 now. Happy New Year to everybody. I'm KSL of KSL Tech Studios, and we have an unboxing video to do. I know. Like, I've been doing a lot of unboxings, because that's the only thing I've been getting in, but... Whatever, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack into the box. I'm doing it on the sofa this time, because the desk was too messy to film on. Alrighty. It's cutting to the other side. And... Oh dear. Oh, that's tight. Okay. So... There's the box. Let's open it up. Oh dear. Looks like a bit of weird looking insulation. Could have shrunk down because of, um, what's it called? Uh, the winter weather, but whatever. Let's throw that off to the side. Here's our little thing that's about Windows product keys, I guess. Which is on their website too, but whatever. Here's a power adapter, and it is actually a Dell power adapter. Very nice, very nice. Put up with some very um, interesting looking rubber bands, but whatever. I don't think we have anything else other than the computer itself. So this is what I ordered. A Dell Latitude E6420. It's very cold. Very, very cold. I like it. It's got a nice finish to it. Let's check around, see. This side, USB. VGA headphone, just a little scuff, not too bad. Here's our uh, fan port. Here's the hard drive and here's a smart card. Here's the front, just an SD card with the blank. Very nice, very nice. Here's a DVD writer, very nice. Uh, our express card slot. Wireless switch, two USBs, eSATA slash USB. Here on the back, it's a HDMI port. Uh, Kensington lock, a blank where the modem's supposed to be, but I don't think anybody cares about that anymore. Power and Ethernet, of course. So, I think I will be putting this onto the desk and uh, letting it warm up. Or, we could t check out the inside. Very odd. Very nice. Looks just like the picture. Um, no webcam on this model, unfortunately. Let's put that down there. Nice touchpad, nice keyboard. We'll get into the specifics once we get onto the desk. So let me stop the video for a moment and we'll jump cut to the desk when that's ready. Alrighty then, we have the computer all set up on my desk here, all plugged in on the charger back there. So let's hit the power button and see if it does anything. Turning on. Good sign, good sign. Hearing something. Hmm. Turning on. Starting Windows. Let's see what Windows it starts into. I'm guessing Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. Just angle the camera up just a tad bit. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. Um, no webcam on this machine. Uh, so, apparently, this is a first-use type scenario. Let's see, setup is apparently. So here we have the Windows Professional uh, setup screen. Let's see if we can kind of get something on there. It's the language selection. Um, after I finish doing this, because I believe it will ask me to do my product key like on the ThinkPad, um, I will come back to you with the desktop and we'll look at the system properties. Hi guys, I just thought I'd finish up the video on the uh, Dell Latitude E6420. So far, I've been impressed and disappointed with this machine all at the same time. So here is a Speccy, I opened it up. I'm sorry the screen flickers, it's just a byproduct of the fact of the uh, LED backlighting on many displays. So, as in Intel Core i5-2520M, 2.5GHz, that's kind of their uh, mid-range sort of processor 4GB RAM 
on the board. Only has the built-in graphics, but wasn't really expecting anything else. Uh, about the hard drive, it is a 250 gigabyte hard drive, but uh, personally, it's a slim drive, not meant for this computer, so it's a little difficult to get in. Um, yeah. CPU, it's only a dual core, so it's pretty just basic, and there is no, like, uh, dedicated graphics or anything. Another thing I haven't been too impressed about is the people who, um, decided to refurbish this added a skin on the top of the computer. So, by the Dell logo, you can see there's a scratch right there. Yep. So I will be listing this because of the scratch. Another thing, I was planning to use this as a sort of a multimedia computer, but I have since found a replacement for that task, so this isn't really required. This is running Windows 7, but I will be upgrading it to Windows 10 and putting an SSD into it. So yeah. Another thing, this computer has no webcam or no think light, but instead of a think light, you have a backlit keyboard, as you can see. I can't really activate it right now because I am holding the camera. And this is quite a pretty much a, ba a bit of a, ba a basic computer by Dell. Right here also, we've got a DVD RAW or oh, DVD RW, so that's better than the one that came with the ThinkPad that I had a T430. Now, a few other things. This computer came in really nice shape. It's not even worn or anything, and this keyboard feels pretty interesting. Another thing, uh, the um, I'm gonna call it. This is I'm gonna still call it the Ultranav, even though this isn't made by Lenovo. This um, joystick or track or eraser head mouse feels very um, like overly sensitive. I don't know if that's just me or if or if it's set like that, but to me it feels really loose and kind of overly sensitive. Another thing, it's pretty uncomfortable to use this. Yeah, I only have the camera in my right hand so I can't really show you, but this button here, especially clicking here, is much more difficult than it is on a ThinkPad, even on my T430. Mm -hmm. I do have a couple games on here as well, which, has, which have run pretty meh, frankly, as well. They're not the best, because the graphics is only integrated. Like, for example, Street Fighter 4 hasn't really worked the best on this, because it's only ever gone to 30 FPS with a lot of fighting, so... Yeah, I think that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching, and as always, leave a comment if you have one.